Welcome friends of the Crawford to the port of Cork and uh, about two weeks ago we, we squelched our way through the, the mud of the leaf fields and today we're squelching our way through the seaweed of the outer reaches of the Cork Harbour. So we're down here today to bring you or your attention to three images that are hanging in the Stasio Bene exhibition at the moment and um, we're referencing these by coming down to the actual site of where they were painted from. So this one in particular is one, a watercolour, beautiful watercolour with honeyed hues that's from Alfred Dobbin and Alfred Dobbin painted this in 1953 and it's called The View of the Ford Factory which is just over my shoulder here and Alfred was the son of Lady Kate Dobbin who featured two weeks ago when we did the Bridges of Cork she had that wonderful watercolour of Clark's Bridge so Alfred was um, honing in with a beautiful um, technique and with a lovely shimmer across the water um, of the Ford factory that would have been here on the quayside next to the chimney. Wanted also to make the connection with something that you might remember from the autumn lecture series from Matthew's talks about the uh, beautiful honeyed tones that were also characteristic and carried through from a painting that was a hundred years earlier almost and this painting was by um, George Mounsey Wheatley Atkinson and this was an oil on canvas of the paddle steamer coming right in into port, the port of Cork and it also used and emphasised with the, with the use of those beautiful tones the importance of the port and the industry and the commerce that was brought to the region and this was something also that was highlighted with Alfred Dobbins with the Ford factory that he was um, making reference to. So the Ford factory was on Kennedy Quay in 1917 and gave employment to 7,000 approximately Cork people here in the region. So uh, we all have many memories of um, our first Ford cars and uh, the Ford Escorts and driving around and very much part of the fabric of um, life in Cork as it stayed in production here until 1984. So we hope you've enjoyed the view of um, what would have been the Ford factory of Cork. So friends of Crawford, we've brought you right down Quayside now, right into the harbour area of Cork where all of the unloading and the loading is occurring. And what we noticed is that even though there's a lot of derelict buildings around us at the moment, there's still a lot of activity here with the trawlers coming in and coming out. So all the sounds are very audible. It's all quite still a busy working port. And we're referencing here a lovely, very fine line drawing that's inside one of those three that we mentioned earlier. And this one is by Lawrence Hudson, Lawrence Burgess Hudson. And it's from 1942 and it's of Polish trawlers in the Port of Cork area. And it references the very busy um, fishing industry that was so, um, so so important to the uh, local area here. Uh, Bernadette was filling me in and we were just looking and examining that very fine detail that's in that beautiful line drawing and there's the, te the old telecommunication system with the wires is, is visible on the trawlers in that image and we were saying how different it is today with the trawlers that are just behind my shoulder here they've all the the um, the radar the, and all of the different apparatus for communicating is visible on the trawlers of today so another little connection that we kind of noticed was a familial connection so we had one of the drawings we spoke about which was uh, the drawing by Alfred Dobbin and we said we talked previously about his his mother Lady Kate Dobbin and we were showing some of her works so this second connection is one that we believe is with this artist here Lawrence Hudson with uh, Marshall C Hudson former RHA who was vice principal of Crawford um, School of Art for over 30 years so we would be very appreciative 
of a connection if you could make it first between Marshall C. Hudson and who we believe is his son, Lawrence H Burgess Hudson, who painted this Polish trawlers in Cork. And just another little note of interest, and Bernadette has given me all the terminology now, is this blue hulled vessel just behind my shoulder. This is a research and survey vessel by Mainport Cedar, and they're one of the main sponsors of the Stachio Bene exhibition. So we thought it might be nice just to, to put in their own vessel in the background here. I just overheard a little snippet of a conversation between a dad and his, his two young kids as he was talking about the trawler. And there's some things never changed. And he made reference to this little wooden, uh, I don't even know what you'd call it, a wedge that they put on the rope line. And uh, it's used for the same purpose today as it was back in 1942, which is to prevent rats from running up the side of the ropes. So I just thought that was a great little gem there that, uh, that we still get to hear and that children will get to hear and learn about because the trawlers come right in to our um, quayside here. The last painting we want to reference today in that three um, paintings collection that we've been talking about from Stachio Bene is the um, beautiful bright watercolour from 1900 by Joseph Poole Ade. And he was an accomplished landscape uh, uh, artist as well as a portrait painter. And he painted a, a wonderful painting of Lady Ashburn. And he's, he um, was born in Dublin and he studied at the RDS um, School of uh, Design in Dublin and in the Cork School of Art also. And that painting, which is a view of Hall Bolin, um, it depicts beautiful pleasure craft and commercial craft um, in what we know now as the Cove area and whereas we can't bring you there today because we're within our five kilometre range we did manage to get there um, previously on our Cork about to Cove so you'll be able to see um, just around by the Sirius Art Centre where that painting is actually um, taken from. So we hope you enjoyed all the sounds and the sights from the port of Cork here today. We've certainly enjoyed bringing you, bringing some of them and connecting them back with works inside in the gallery.